Hello my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you for tuning in today to my channel. I'm Darlene. I will start shuffling right away for your reading. Thank you for watching today. I'm just getting started here on YouTube so all of that really really matters. One second. I'm talking to my deck. Okay, thanks. Um, yeah, so if you like what I do, you know the drill. Hit that like button and subscribe. I do other kinds of Scorpio readings also if you are interested. Um, let's see, Scorpio love readings, who's coming toward you, what they're hiding. Alrighty. Um, well, that was quick. Okay. And also, I do deceased loved ones reading. I'm also a medium, actually. That's what I started here on YouTube with. So if you have anyone that you're hoping to hear from on the other side, I would appreciate it if you would go and check out that playlist. All right, let me see. I wanted to ask, well, I did ask in my head. I didn't ask it out loud. What's going on? Um... For you, Scorpio. All right, and I just did your love reading. I think that will post on Wednesday. This one, um, probably Saturday, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Well, what's going on is you're missing each other. <clears throat> this to me is what's happened in the relationship or what's going on currently between you two. You're missing each other. This is reminiscing, thinking back on the past. This could be saying that there's no communication. This could be saying someone had hoped for an apology that didn't come in. This can also be sometimes somebody overindulging. So this might be because of this breakup of a home. And now that's not always the meaning. The four of wands in the upright is often called the marriage card. Some people call it the twin flame card, but typically it is uh, the happy home, the couple, the dog, the picket fence, all of that coming together. It can mean physically a home. Now it's in reverse. So it means none of that happiness is happening. And it's interesting, I got the same card in reverse in your love writing. So you might want to look at that also. <clears throat> now, yeah, it feels to me like somebody's miss. and again, I don't know because of the way I asked the question, if this was you, Scorpio, this is your person, this may be both of you. Again, you could both be missing each other. You could be overindulging because you're not communicating or you were hoping they would apologize and they didn't uh, again this can be an unhappy home situation um, sometimes that again can be a breakup for me the ending of a relationship i don't have like a ten of swords or anything next to that but what i do have is a queen of swords in reverse so the queen of swords <clears throat> doesn't take prisoners doesn't take any crap <laughs> but in the reverse to me as a reader She's angry. She's very angry and hurt, and she will cut you with that sword in a nanosecond. Next to the Page of Wands, again, this is, to me, substantiating there's no communication. Um, obviously, no contact would be no communication, but, you know, you, everybody has a different definition of no contact, I guess. I'm trying to think what other... What, what I hear from this is it's just not, there's no, the spark isn't there. That's what I heard. The spark in, isn't there. In the upright, this is the curious page. He's the adventurer page. And I'm just hearing that's just not there anymore or right now. Boy, a lot of these cards are coming up that were in the Scorpio Love rating that I posted. So please go and look at that. You might find uh, you resonate with that reading a lot. <clears throat> to include this card, the Nine of Wands, and oftentimes you hear me say, this is the wounded warrior fighting that very last battle, fighting to the bitter end. I've got one more fight left in me. But I'm feeling more today like it's a 
it's resisting. Somebody's resisting here, putting up a wall. And they may be putting up a wall about a truth or because of a truth that has come out. <clears throat> and at the bottom of the deck, interesting. We have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. followed by the Nine of Cups in the upright. So, and the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, <clears throat> so this is telling me a story. Some of you may have heard me say this before. To me, the Ten of Cups in the upright can be a little bit of too much of a good thing. In other words, us maybe we fell in love with an illusion of what we we'd hoped the relationship was and not what it actually was or turned out to be so maybe this is a little bit of it was too good to be true hence is in the reverse it was a little bit of an illusion of what i really wanted was my nine of cups my true happiness my wishes being fulfilled by this king of pentacles now kings and queens there's no gender in my tarot i mean there's no gender in tarot in general that's a tongue twister um but i do as a reader um for me kings and queens are people so you have a queen of swords in the reverse a king of pentacles in the upright followed by a queen of cups in the reverse <clears throat> And so that gives me two queens and a king. So if you know your person has entertained someone else, this could be the meaning of this. This home over here has broken up. Perhaps your king, again, this just because there's a king on the card here, um, has made somebody very angry, this queen of swords over here, possibly because he was giving to this queen who is now upset because her cup is, she's pouring her cup out. She's not happy. This can also be emotional instability. Um, for me, the king or queen of cups in reverse can represent that. <clears throat> because somebody um, needs to listen to their intuition or it could be saying because somebody did listen to their intuition. And I don't have a tower here, but I sure am feeling it. So I feel like there has been a tower here somewhere. Um, and it's saying that this cycle is not over. This, this ending, would be ending, would be ending of a cycle, however, is not over. <clears throat> but there was an injustice or is this is really current in energy there is injustice and imbalance here it could be telling me because somebody is not single or somebody needs to be liberated this can be in the upright the card of liberation it's in the reverse it could also be telling me because somebody's money is not good <clears throat> And so apparently there was uh, a breakup because somebody lied and cheated or there was deception that eventually came to light. I'm just pulling the cards right off the bottom of the deck here as they came out, which is where my readings typically are. Uh, and that caused an ending. It caused an ending and now there is a lack of passion for a new beginning here. There was probably hurtful words, angry words. And there's the star now in reverse. So anytime you get a star, the tower comes before the star. This is telling me wishes and dreams that were dashed, as it were. <clears throat> okay. Well, that's the energy there. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, my throat is getting dry. I want to ask now, what do we want to ask, Scorpio? What do we want to ask, hmm? Whew. Well, let's ask. What's the likely action this person may or may not take? What, what, you know, whatever. Oops, I got the deck turned around here. What action might this person take? What action might this person take with my Scorpios? Thank you. Hmm. 
probably nothing if that's the only card. Let's see what other cards came out, though. They look, you know, that's a card of disappointment, refusing um, the divine, offering them a cup of love. They could have refused your love, maybe, but all right. Got several cards here. There's that moon card in reverse again. Well, they're saying love. There is love here. There's that king of swords again, though. This card is, oh, there it is. This card is not going away. All right, let me continue to shuffle. I need three more cards, please, Spirit, for my Scorpios. So something has come to light. What, what they're being shown is, though, that they're, I mean, how much they're missing you, how much they love you. They're missing you. They're feeling nostalgic. There's disappointment here. This is, we ask what action they might take. <clears throat> well, they might refuse a cup, or they might, be thinking if they offer you a cup, they will come away disappointed. You might refuse them because of these things that have been have come to light. Um, again, they are missing you, or because this could be also things that came to light about something from their past. But there is love here. All right, let me keep shuffling here. A couple more cards. What actions might this person take toward my Scorpio, please, Spirit? What actions might this person take? All right. Mm. One more. Wow, this is interesting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hang on. I got a bunch. <laughs> I got a bunch there. That one wanted to come out. All right, I need to make room. Bear with me, please. Thank y'all for your patience. There's more cards than I asked for, so I gotta make room. Mmm, that's a big story. All right, let's see here. So, the Emperor in. All right, so let me pick up here where the King of Cups was. There is love here. But somebody's being very stubborn. That's just the word I get stubborn. This is. Somebody who won't budge. There, this is the emperor in the upright is the authority figure. He controls. He has to control because that's his job. He runs the kingdom, right? But in the reverse, he can be. It can be somebody who forces his will on others. But sometimes it can also mean somebody who's lost their confidence. <clears throat> um, because it, so this could be. Again, go watch that love reading. I'm getting a lot of crossover here with because in that reading it talked about someone it had to do with their work and their money and that kind of thing. So if you think that's relative, you might want to watch that reading. It's just called Scorpio Love Read Love on my channel. <clears throat> so this Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. It could be telling me that somebody is not feeling good about themselves because um Literally, their fortunes are not good. The Wheel of Fortune is constantly turning, but when it's in not in our favor, that's not good. We, we, you know, that means our, literally what it says. Fortune is not favoring us at the moment. They're trying to move on to, or you, they, they want this. This is what we're asking intentions. Their intentions are <clears throat> to move on to calmer waters with you because they, f they feel you are their sunshine, your happiness. You make them happy. Mm. But there, there either is or has been deception here. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to clarify that card. I just am. That now, um, okay, oh, I see. Yep, all right, same story, different day. I get it, okay, sorry. The Two of Swords in the upright is someone who is um, at a crossroads debating, I would need to make a decision, but I can't. But in the reverse, for me as a reader, it means someone who's finally coming to clarity, somebody who um, is making a decision about a Queen of Wands in reverse. Now, she is not a, a nice person. This Queen of Wands in reverse, not unlike the Queen of Swords up here, so this could be the same person. Th these two people can be the same person, okay? <clears throat> um, this could be you, but 
I, 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 um, I don't think it is because of the card that follows. So let me finish my sentence here. All right. So this could be telling me they want to move to calmer waters. This can also mean because something has come to light, been illuminated, the sun has shined on that. Deception, it could be that they're telling me the sun illuminated, the light came out and illuminated this deception that somebody now has made or having to make a decision about a queen of wands in reverse because they were toxic, because this was a toxic relationship. Now, this can also mean, of course, in the upright, the devil is restrictions, being held back, things that thwart you, that hold you back, that prevent you from being your best and doing your best, like addictions. This can be toxic relationships, toxic job. This can literally be physical addictions, okay? This is in the reverse. So this is being set free from those. Somebody trying to heal and walk forward. It can be literally being released um, from those toxic things. So this is looking because of the four of wands in, in the reverse and right next to this queen of swords. And then these cards, the way they fell out here, this is looking um, very much like this was a relationship with, because we have, you know, two, you know what I've said, two queens here, um, and a king and an emperor. Okay, well, there, yeah, there could be four people here. Um, but it feels to me like this person is trying to recover, and this could be you, Scorpio. Again, reverse the roles as they need to be um, to your situation. And I want to see what's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody's plans fell through. This can, oh, let me see what's underneath that. Okay. All right, I'm going to, um, yeah, that, two things. Somebody's plans could have fallen through, but it, it let me see what's under that. Yeah, they wanted a new beginning. But somebody was standing up and fighting. So they could be, if your person, for example, was in another relationship, their person might have not have wanted to let them go. Or it could just be there's, your person is standing up, or if this is you, Scorpio, and um, it, there's been a breakup here. Look, there's been a breakup here. Plans that fell through, a new beginning, over, over a new beginning, a new start, somebody standing their ground about a breakup. And now they're trying to heal, but to me this means they're not done healing yet when it's in the reverse. They're not done healing yet. Okay, oh wow, you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. Okay, y'all, this is very clear to me what this is. This is definitely a relationship ending here on, for one of you, I don't know if this is you, Scorpio, your person, <clears throat> because the um, Hierophant in reverse can be a traditional, it's something that has to do with tradition. It can be either in the reverse, bad advice, because in the upright, this is also called the guru, what it used to be. It's a, it's a priest. Um, and so in the reverse, it's either he, this person got bad advice, or this can represent a traditional relationship, like a marriage. Again, the four of wands in reverse ending, because somebody is being left out in the cold. That's a pretty clear message for me. Somebody's healing over a lost, uh, a breakup in a love relationship. That is pretty clear there, and they're trying to be strong. They are trying to be strong because they don't yet have clarity about the situation, and they're losing sleep. They're up all night, losing sleep. This is the card of anxiety and sleepless nights. Trying to find the truth. I think this, this king, um, 
In fact, I said this in the other reading because he came out in the other reading a couple of times. The King of Swords is someone who, um, he's truthful, but he, he lives his life with head over heart. He's not mushy, you know, he's, he knows what he needs to do, he sees the truth of it, and he does it. So there's, um, he's, this could be saying your person is losing sleep over this truth that was revealed, or they're losing sleep because they know the truth, and the truth is they need to communicate. They need to communicate this. So, yeah, they they know. <laughs> they know. They know that they dashed, whoever this is, they dashed dreams. But they're getting clarity about it now. And again, this card is coming, the same cards are coming out that came out in the last reading. Um, they know that there was an injustice here and it caused instability. They're finally listening to their intuition though. Wow, okay, Ooh, that's a lot, that's a lot. Um, you know, I'm looking for action or, because uh, it, it, I, the cards that I initially throw out here, or fall out here, are the cards that I look for to tell me, <clears throat> like an overt action, like if I get a chariot or an eight of wands in this initial group. Now, I don't have that here. So this may, may mean that your person is going through this. I want you to know that, but they're not where they can physically or whatever take action quite yet. But this looks like what they're doing is, is going through a breakup on their side, or this could be you again, Scorpio. Uh, apply the roles as, uh, as is appropriate. And I'm asking what, uh, what deck here Okay, this one. Any advice, any final advice for my Scorpios, please, Spirit? Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to wait to speak on that. More, please, Spirit? What other advice, please, do you have for me? Spirit, whoa, whoa. There's a bunch of cards there, but let's see. Let me see. Oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this. Third time, the four of wands in reverse. Oh, goodness. Okay, so let's see if I can paint this picture. <clears throat> the Four of Pentacles in reverse can be, um, can be holding on too tightly like self-protection. So I get it. If you've been hurt, you want to protect your heart. And I think Spirit is cautioning here to not hold on so tight that you're jaded <clears throat> or that you say things that you can't take back. That's what I'm hearing from this uh, Page of Swords in the reverse. Um, this, you know, is saying you might want to hold off on communicating because you may say things that you regret. Those can be harsh words, disappointing messages. <clears throat> I know that you don't want to walk away. This is the Eight of Cups in reverse is somebody moving on, but this in reverse is saying, we know you don't want to move on or you're possibly having a hard time moving on from this or your person. But I think you feel like you... Um, there's there's no motivation here. There's no you're feeling like you, you can't continue to invest in this. Spirit is saying <clears throat> because um, <sighs> I 
I just keep thinking because we've had, you know, at the very beginning we had this Page of Cups in the reverse. So maybe it's telling me in, in the outcome here, maybe it's saying now that it's upright, maybe this is saying that um, advice, because I asked advice for my Scorpios, this could be saying, um, Scorpio, that don't give up, don't give up quite yet that maybe this person's not where they can work on this now, but you could have an apology in coming. You could have somebody coming in to talk to you about the end of this relationship, uh, the end of this happy home. This, this can be also be a, a conflict with others, um, a breakdown in communication. But the, the Seven of Pentacles, is somebody it can be looking at the long term this is timing this can also be timing i think the spirit is saying it's just not the right time yet just sort of let this be because this is someone who's looking at his investment this is the farmer who goes out to the field and plants the seeds and then he patiently watches them come up he doesn't go out in the field and scream at them the next day after they planted why aren't you why aren't you two feet tall it isn't screaming at them like that it's saying you know everything happens in divine timing everything happens in divine timing that right now um it spirit is asking you to just go within and introspect and have self-reflection about the situation <sighs> yeah because <clears throat> there's a lot of there's a lot of energy here and I feel it especially this middle row up here of restlessness and there's a lack of focus here and there's a lack of almost because the knight of swords in reverse can be recklessness disregard for the consequences having to do with the empress and uh, she was in my last reading again go back and watch that Scorpio reading there's a lot of messages coming out here too and um, because she is a, the empress for me as a reader is can, scorpio can be either the queen of cups or the empress in my reading so i'm feeling like it's saying know your worth here scorpio know your worth <clears throat> you're in the middle you're on your way to smoother waters you're just not there there there's unfinished business here and we know that and just to be patient because there very well could be a love offer coming in um, but you knew there was a but coming right but i don't like that it's the king of wands in reverse because you've heard me talk about he's he's impulsive he's can be shallow he can lose his temper quickly um he can have expectations that are unrealistic um about what your wishes and dreams are and again we come back to this which we started the reading with is the ten of cups which to me again you have to be careful be sure that you're looking at this realistically and not through rose colored glasses and then you will get you know your happiness and you will get the truth of this situation Okay, Scorpios, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I would be grateful if you would hit that like button on the way out and leave me a comment. I do try to answer everyone I get. It may take me a few days. But even if it's just a thumbs up or something to let me know that this resonated with you, that always helps to inspire me. So thank you very much. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.